It started out as a grim day for Jesus' disciples. Jesus, their beloved teacher whom they had followed for years, had been crucified and killed the day before. Mary Magdalene had gone to his tomb early that morning, but she returned soon after she left, excitedly claiming to have seen Jesus risen from the grave. Afraid of what the Jewish people and their religious leaders would do when they found out that Jesus' body was missing, all the disciples, except for Thomas, gathered together and locked all the doors of the house. Thinking they were safe behind their locked doors, the disciples were shocked when a man was suddenly standing among them. He said, Peace be with you, and showed them the wounds on his hands and his side. It was Jesus. The disciples were overjoyed when they recognized that it was Jesus who had joined them. The disciples saw the Master with their own eyes and were awestruck. Jesus repeated his greeting, Peace to you. Just as the Father sent me, I send you. Then he took a deep breath and breathed into them. Receive the Holy Spirit, he said. If you forgive someone's sins, they're gone for good. If you don't offer forgiveness, then forgiveness is withheld. Later, Thomas joined the rest of the disciples at the house. Full of excitement and joy, the disciples told Thomas that they had seen Jesus and what he said and did while he was with them. Thomas didn't believe a word they said. Unless I can see and touch the wounds he received on the cross, I will never believe that you all saw the Lord. Eight days later, still fearing trouble from the Jews, all of the disciples had gathered together again, locked up tight in their house. Again, Jesus suddenly appeared in the room with them and said, Peace be with you. Then, turning his attention to Thomas, he said, Take your finger and examine my hands. Take your hand and stick it in my side. Don't disbelieve. Believe. Thomas did as Jesus told him and touched Jesus' wounds and said, My Master, my God. Jesus said to Thomas, You believe because you've seen with your own eyes. Even better blessings are in store for those who believe without seeing. While Jesus performed many other works in the presence of his disciples that proved his power that are not written in the book of John, these were written so that you will believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and in the act of believing, have real and eternal life through your faith in him.